was really good. I didn't think of that. New. Good work. Okay, Delicious. well, this week, um, here we go. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. We've got uh, some parts if you would like to make your own mm, 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 mm. Uh, Strand Beast <laughs> uh, 3D printed mm, 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 mm. <laughs> little friend. So this is a, a the Humble Velocipede Ligaments Kit. So this is a kit from uh, Dana Wall here at Adafruit. And um, well, with these parts, you can make your own Velocipede. And these are the parts that, especially if you're laser cutting, these are the parts that you want to have 3D printed. So uh, this is handy if you're making it. We also sell the, um, the bent wire that goes in the center. So between this and that, you can kind of build your own Velocipede no matter what. OK. Next up, what's this? This is an assembled Feather 32U4 Blue Fruit. Uh, this is a really popular board. It has a 32U4 processor, 8-bit AVR. People like it because it's a really well-known chip. Um, works great with Arduino. We put a Bluetooth module on there, and uh, you can use it to do all sorts of cool Bluetooth low-energy things. Uh, this one is fully assembled and comes with stacking headers, so you don't even need to solder anything if you want to get started with developing your Bluetooth applications. This is a Feather Blue. Blue fruit. It's a blue fruit. So what type of IDEs and things could you use with this? This one is ask. for our use with Arduino. Arduino. Yeah, pretty much only. Got it. Later on, there'll be other feathers that are Bluetooth that probably will be Circuit Python, I bet. You can use the M0 feather, but just it, we don't have support for the Bluetooth module yet. So right, right now, nothing. But for this one, you can use it with Arduino. Maybe in a not out, don't ask, we'll share something one day. One Maybe day, not today. But not today. Yeah. Okay. Next up. You wanted to show this again. This is the INA yes. feather wing from last week because we got a really nice animated GIF. That's right. So let's show it. So this shows, um, you know, some LEDs being driven by uh, a feather with an OLED feather wing and an INA feather wing, and you can see it's small, but you can see in the top left corner. Maybe you can zoom in on the top left. The oh OLED yeah. Display. Can you? I'll try. It? It's a little hard sometimes live, but I can. I can try to. I can try to do this. Yeah. So what do you want? Just to the. You want this, and you want this zoomed in, like. Yeah, like but this? then to the. Yeah, perfect. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so you can see the voltage and current is being calculated and displayed dynamically. So this can be really helpful when you're power monitoring something, or you have a project and you want to like know how much current and voltage is happening over there on the LEDs or whatever it is that you're controlling. It can do up to 26 volts, positive or negative, and up to about three amps. So. Handy. Yeah. You want to show off this cool GIF. Okay. Nice GIF action. All right. Next up. We have kind of a new product. It's the Max 31865 RTD. This is a platinum RTD sensor amplifier. We've had this before for the PT100, the 100 ohm platinum sensors. And now we have this for PT1000. It has a different reference resistor. So it's much better for use with PT1000 sensors. And I can show it on the overhead. because it's, it's worth going over these again. That's so my stage name, PT1000. PT1000. Yeah. Um, so this is the sensor, and you can use it with, you know, your favorite microcontroller. And it has terminal blocks. You can use it with two, three, or four-wire RTDs. And um, this is an RTD that uh, we have in the store, for example. This one is at PT100, you can tell, because it says PT100. But you can purchase ones that are uh, 1,000 ohms, and so, uh, honestly, you'd probably want to use that with this, not uh, the 100 that I grabbed out of the bin. But it looks the same, and it has a piece of platinum that's been laser trimmed in this metal casing, and it's just really, really high precision. So if you're doing any like scientific experimentation, especially, or if you need to get like very, very high accuracy, very, very high reliability temperature sensors, you'll pay more for an RTD compared to you know a DS18B20. But it's like what you use, like it's like the the best temperature reference you can get. Uh, that we know of uh, on planet Earth is a PT uh, type sensor. So now if you have a PT-1000, grab one of these and it's super easy. We have a library that'll get you started. Okay. All right. Next up, the star of the show tonight besides you is uh, Adabot and all the uh, characters. No, it's a, there's a screen. This is a feather wing. It's a 3.5 inch TFT feather wing. So if you have feather boards and you want a really big display, this is a really big display. It's 480 by 320 pixels, full color. It comes with a touch screen, and you just plug your feather in. It's fully assembled, so it's kind of nice. It's got some mounting holes. Um, you can plug into the back. It's got an SD card slot, an on-off switch, uh, reset button. So it's very easy to make a little touch screen interface. Um, so if you go to the overhead, I can show off. So this is 
um, the basically the demo that we photographed. So you see here, I've got a, a Teensy 3.2 feather wing. So this is actually a Teensy 3.2 that is a, is a feather adapter. Because this is a really big display, I do recommend people go with the bigger chips. Um, you can drive it from a 32U4, but I don't recommend it. You really want something that's running at least 48 megahertz. So the M0s, the ESP 8266, the ESP32 is super fast. The TNC is very, very fast. Um, and you know, it has this nice touch screen so you can, you can draw your favorite messages. Uh, then the touch screen controller is over SPI. So you only need like five pins to do everything. Um, with this uh, display, you get plenty of pins left over. And then um, I can also show another demo. So here's one with the um, ESP32. So um, the ESP32 is like super, super fast. So let's see if I can get this demo up and running. So you can see it's like, wow. it's zoom in. Yeah, this is very, 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 very fast. Uh, it's super optimized. So the ESP32 is kind of like, you know, the best option uh, for. This because it's just like ultra high speed. But I think the M4 will be as fast as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's getting close to you know, Raspberry Pi speed. Yeah. So you could probably get um, you know, 30 frames per second from this. So I thought like you know, this would be good for um, you know, very high res interfaces. You, know, you wanted to maybe have a, like a, a touch control. <coughs> and no. the ESP32 runs um, Python. So you could write this in Python if you wanted to. Yeah, micro -Python. you could. Yeah. So yeah, and then you can just unplug. From beginners to experts, everything is possible with this. Yeah, yeah. So you get the SD slot, and then this is where your feather plugs in. But yeah, any feather works with every and all feathers. But we recommend the faster ones just for your sanity, <laughs> because otherwise it'll take, yeah. you know, a long time to to display data. There's just so many pixels to draw. Yeah, like Greg said in the chat, this is like perfect for a weather station. Yeah, a really high resolution weather station. You are set. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's well, what's new. So let's go over. Yeah, that that was the new products, and now to do our new product recap. All right, what was on the show this week? Okay, recap time. We've got a ligaments kit for the humble velocipede. You want to make your own one of these? They're super cute, strand beasts. We've got a kit of a three D printed parts that make it much easier. You can use a laser cutter or three D printer. Next up. We have a fully assembled uh, Feather 32U4 Bluefruit. This is a 32U4 processor, our Bluefruit module, and it comes with stacking headers. Okay, next up. We have a Max 31865 Platinum uh, amplifier sensor, so very high precision Platinum uh, 1000, PT1000 sensors. You can now inter interface them with your microcontroller and with this really high quality amplifier that will manage all of that resistor measuring for you for really precise temperature measurements. And? And the star of the show is the 3.5 inch TFT feather wing. It's 480 by 320 pixels of glorious color. Uh, it's super fast, it's fully assembled. Plug in any feather into the back. You have an SD card slot, backlight management, touch, touch screen controller, all that stuff really good for making interfaces with your feather. Okay, and that is the new products of the week. Good work, Lady Ada. New. Okay.